Good morning y'all, it's Max from My Kind of Beats coming at you from my home state, Arkansas. This is gonna be the first of a huge Arkansas series I got coming for you. Now today's gonna be a special day, starting it off strong with some of the best barbecue you can get here in Arkansas. We're at Wright's Barbecue all the way in Northwest Arkansas. Now I could not have done today by myself. I have the barbecue expert himself, a Memphis and May barbecue judge. We got Woo Pig Foodie here. How about that drive up here, brother? Oh, it was a long drive, but I tell you what, we're gonna have some fun today. Dude, some let's fun. Let's go inside and check out what they've got going on. All right, let's do it. We're here a little bit early. We're gonna see how they're smoking this meat. Let's get in here. So check it out. This place is actually pretty new. They just bought the house right here, so this is where they're serving and everything, but they got all their smokers and everything over here that we're about to check out. I tell you what, it's more than a beautiful sight and it smells amazing as soon as you walk into this little tent area over here. What you're looking at up here is going to be 300 up top. What we're doing is we're going to cook the chicken. We're going to make sure everything's getting cooked up here, but it's always going to be 250 down here. So your brisket's going to be really good over 250. The flavor from the smoke coming right. from here. So they're actually using a pecan oak mixture. A little bit getting that pecan for that flavor, but that oak's actually going to burn longer. So it's going to be better for smoking that long time. What are you guys putting on the smoke? Oh, no, it's hot. You can tell they're cranking out some serious Q here. They got three Moberg smokers here. And Moberg's pretty, I mean, for smokers, it's a pretty big name, right? Yeah, these are definitely the Cadillac of smokers. These are high end, custom grade, beautiful smokers made in Austin, Texas. Now, these may look like they're some old crappy beat up smokers but that's part of the part of the mystique of these is that they're beautiful smokers and they look real rough outside but man they can make some serious barbecue oh man i mean it smells it smells like it Fantastic. smells so good over here beautifully done good old brown look at that that's perfect all righty let's do that <laughs> that's perfect Making sure to keep those burnt ends nice and moist, spraying them with just a little apple cider vinegar. What's actually unique about their burnt ends is it's not coming from the biscuit. It's actually a pork. So it's a pork belly and bacon burnt end, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. They're yeah. taking those uh, pork bellies and cubing them up and putting them on that smoker, rolling them in that uh, the spices and getting them smoked up. You can just see all those spices coating that pork belly, but why are they doing bacon though? Well, it's a lot easier to, to use the bacon than it is for a consistent product than to be using that brisket. Now they're cooking about 75 briskets on a given day. So they're, they would go through all those briskets pretty fast. So they're gonna serve that up as slices and use the bacon as the, uh, as the burger. Okay, yeah, so this place is so good. I had to kind of switch to bacon, something we got a little bit more of. Lightning McQueen, cause this is the mobile trailer. Oh, there's you. This is on the wheels. Yeah, yeah. And then we've got Hakuna Matata over there. Um, the newest one is just keep swimming. We're gonna keep going. So I think it's maybe a little bit after 10 and people are showing up to eat already. So before it gets a little bit too crazy, we're heading over here to the house, get some of that barbecue. Come in. Thanks for having us. I'm gonna do a half pound of lean and a half pound of uh, moist. This is the best collard greens around, man. Those collard greens will knock your socks off. We have all beef sausage and a jalapeno cheddar. I'm gonna do one of each, okay? Charity ribs there. Chocolate peanut butter, salted honey. Got brownie, walnut, cherry crumble, and pecan. We haven't dug into our food and they are getting us one over with these pies. Would you look at this? Has a lot of fun in there. I mean, people are just joking around, laughing, having a good time, being friendly, giving us little extra bits. Gotta love this house though. You can just see the worn down, the history in it. Just small little dining area. So we're heading outside to dig and chow in. Last time I was here, Oh, you wouldn't know it's winter in Arkansas in here. They got these heaters going. It's warm. It's closed in. There's no cold wind or anything. Yeah, I got a beef fruit today, some brisket. Some intro and a half. Like, I bet anybody can share. So you'll love it. I know. 
That pull is a little long. Well, and it's a lot of pulls. So we had the barbecue perfectionist himself, Jordan, come through, kind of touch everything up, taste a little bit, and make sure it's up to standards. But we can't wait any longer. Got a little bit of the jalapeno and cheddar homemade sausage. I mean, you can tell it's smoked instantly, just takes over everything with that smokiness. Then it's got enough fat in it that just coats your mouth so those flavors stick there. Then you get a little bit of cheese, a little ooey gooeyness. That jalapeno cuts through everything nicely. So this one's all salt and pepper. Oh man, how's that? That's really good. Pecan wood and a little bit of oak because it's winter time. We need a little bit of oak in there to keep that fire going. Hey, it's perfectly delicious, so tender. I think I gotta apologize right now. This is about to be a massive bite. Mm. What do you think about that salt and pepper rub? Let me tell you something. It is that beef rib right there. It makes me realize I could not be vegetarian. Oh my God. You need some napkins after that. These hands are greased up of just pure meat juices. Oh wow, that's beautiful right here. Just grab it, there you go. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. So well, here we are, man. Indeed. What Let's do you go. think? Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Man, it's so good. What's great too is you can tell it's very deftly handled. A lot of times you'll go to a place and they'll just blast the crap out of that smoker, mm -hmm. pumping so much smoke into it well after right. the point that you kind of, the way I look at it is you kind of smoke at the beginning, the first maybe third half of your smoke. Right. And after that it's just heat to get it done. You really can't taste the beauty of the meat. You're just getting overpowered by smoke. Yep. Wright's has that deft, the deft touch with all right. of this. And so we end up with meat that is just beautifully smoked, not overpowered at all. That's super caching for her to say that her hand pies have that. So we got their actual special burnt ends right here. I got a piece that had a nice little chunk of fat on there, so it ultimately melts in your mouth. But the real key to that, this is a touch of sugar to help it just feel like a pure melt in your mouth experience. I gotta go in for another bite of that. Damn. Might be turning me to a pork burnt ends guy. My God, I can't say out of those burnt ends, golly. So we did the beef rib. Now we got going for that pork rib. Let's go. Cheers, All right, brother. Dive in. Cheers. Oh man, that's everything you want right there. Look at that perfect little bite. It's cooked, not overcooked. Deliciously tender. Great smoky flavor. Perfect bark on that sucker, huh? It's got a bark, but you know it pulls off where you bite, but it's got just enough tug to where you get that beautiful smile. Mmm. Golly. I gotta Love go in it. again. Me too. My favorite time of the day. Got three sauces here. Got a sweet, a bold, and then a hot and spicy. Definitely doing my favorite, the hot and spicy. Yeah, the thing is like Hey, shout out back to him for doing the shells because that is my grandmother style right there on the mac and cheese. Mm. Super soft shells, very creamy mac and cheese. Get a little bit of that black pepper, combat some of that creaminess. Whew. That is just close your eyes and dream about it good. Now, I don't want to hype these greens up, but the brother up front said these are life-changing greens. Whoa. You can tell they care about their meat here because their side dishes are complimenting their meats. There's so much vinegar in those greens. That's the most vinegar I've ever had in greens. And again, all it's doing is wiping all that barbecue flavor off your palate so you can get right back into that smoked meat. Or you can go anywhere and get brisket. Like, Chris Shepard has a place called George James. Neil Chris Shepard. He's a follow Chris Shepard. Um, oh, yeah. So, so that's fork and crust. That's their bourbon pecan. Only one way to finish off some beautiful barbecue, that's with pecan pie. Mm, man, that's, nice. that's not just pecan pie, that is some bourbon pecan pie. That bourbon will slap you in your face. Beautiful crunch from those pecans and that crust, nice and buttery. And it's just pure melt in your mouth, pecan style filling on the inside. Oh, okay. All right, y'all, that'll do it. Four hour drive up there, four hour drive back for some of the best barbecue you're gonna find in Arkansas. And I tell you what, it's worth every mile driven. 
The reason Rice is the best is just always evolving, always pushing for better Q. I tell you what, Jason is a passionate person about some Q and he is always striving for better barbecue there at Wright's. So I'm telling you, Wright's is a name you're gonna to wanna to remember because it's gonna be heard and talked about all over the US here in a little bit and I'll bet a lot of money on it. Big shout out and a big thank you to Woo Pig Foodie for, you know, being the driver of course and then teaching us all about Q today. Hope y'all enjoyed it. It's a Max of My Kind of Beats and I'll catch you at the next video.